Hello, hello and welcome, welcome, Silray is here to talk about a subject I don't normally talk about on my channel, but um, before I get to the subject matter, two things of note, uh, firstly, this audio will be available on my SoundCloud by itself, because, well, I'm not talking about the background gameplay footage at all or whatever, it's not in relation to the subject matter here, and also, there will be a link to that dragon cancer in the description below because they do deserve that link right there uh, also obviously link to my soundcloud in the description below as well if you rather listen to this than watch this happen on youtube now 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 Let's talk about the subject matter then. The subject matter is uh, what I personally call cinematic experience games. That Dragon Cancer, Dear Esther, these kind of things. Essentially, a minor interaction from a player, but the whole thing is down with this, uh, either with a, with a story, or with like, you're moving forward in this world and you are seeing what we want you to see. You, this is something you experience, essentially. Not something you uh, play, not something you experience. This is where I make the distinction. So to me, this is cinematic experience games. There are... I always ask this question of myself, and I, I'll, I'll be right out honest firstly. Uh, I mean, that Dragon Cancer came down with the, some of the Let's Play controversy and how it can damage games. Uh, because when you see a Let's Play of something, you might not want to buy it after. But... Also, it goes the other way with certain games, and I'll get back to that in just a moment. But firstly, I will straight out admit, I will admit this to uh, about many games, straight up, that this is a game i much rather watched a Let's Play on than have bought it myself, and if I did not have a choice to watch a Let's Play instead of buying, I wouldn't have bought it anyway. This is not a lost sale on me, and I am, I am a frank enough person that I can come to, a, come to a developer and I can honestly tell them, straight up, that, okay, you have made a game, that game is not for me. Not, not everybody can do that or are willing to do that, go that far, but I am. Because uh, I, I know what I like to play. And if you look, I mean, also from the Let's Play point of view, uh, of the conversation and all that stuff, if you look through the videos on my channel, you realize that I don't really have an interest in the subject matter from the creator of a Let's Player point of view. Because I don't make Let's Plays. I have about 900 videos on my channel currently at the time of making this video and maybe 20 of those are from single player games and not a single one of those is an actual let's play video. So uh, yeah, I'm a multiplayer gamer. I, I, I play multiplayer games. I, it's what I play vast majority of the time, it's what I enjoy. Let's plays are something I occasionally watch of single player games, not, not so often, sometimes. Uh, and. Games like that Dragon Cancer are, while well, they are definitely games, obviously it's a game, it, it, it has interaction with the player, it, it is a game, but it is not this uh, sort of a game, and it's not the genre of games I actually enjoy playing. I might enjoy watching it happen, not playing it. However, I do own certain ones of these games because I have eventually bought them from various sales. GOG sale, uh, Steam sale, whatever, what have you, because um, a couple of years down the line, I might see it on like a Christmas sale or summer sale or some such, and I'm like, okay, uh, I have seen this game, but I can't remember how it went, and it was short, right? So I'll buy this now and exp and go through it and see how it actually went. So yeah, I I'll buy games like this eventually on sales, but not uh, not on their releases, not on their full prices, and not when it's still a hot topic and everybody's talking about it and I can, you know, hear about it. Uh, I know exactly how it goes. Right. So, um, firstly, le let me give um, what I view uh, as a possible alternative to selling your cinematic experience games. Like, the two ways I have personally come down with, um, the, 
personally come down with. Essentially, two, the, two ways I have always figured are good ways to sell a game like That Dragon Cancer and Dear Esther from purely, uh, from purely from the point of view of actually making revenue out of the game. Um, firstly is porting it over to mobile. Because this could definitely work for short games, kind of short games like that Dragon Cancer. It is still kind of a short game. Um, and DRS, things like this. Granted, you cannot do graphics as well on mobile. But um, things like this, which you essentially watch happen more so than play, um, they could do well on, on a bus ride to work, on a train, train ride to work. Where a person just goes through it, see, experiences it as it goes on, essentially. The other, other, other choice would be to make a forking path to the end. Essentially force a player to make one of two, maybe even more, choices uh, and no way to return to the previous ones. Granted, this will obviously create a little bit extra work to make that ending, uh, that pathway, because you can have the same ending from for all of the forex, but uh, the pathway to there could be slightly different. And what this would cause is that anybody who makes a let's play or anybody who watches this being played uh, would still be left with the feeling that okay, what if had done the different route? What, what, what would have changed? And this creates replayability for your experience, for one, but also it creates, uh, for anybody, like I said, who watches it happen, that question in their mind, and that might get them to buy the game for themselves. This might be, might seem a little, you know, capitalistic and whatnot to try and get players to buy your games through methods like this, but frankly, uh, frankly, developers who make games like that Dragon Cancer do need the revenue, frankly, because this is a niche market. And I, I am not against them doing things like this, because it, in the end, it, it will not sell the game to me, but there will be others for who might be on the edge of like, do I buy this or do I watch it happen? And then they watch it happen and they see that forking pathway and they are like, okay, I, I'll buy this thing to see what that forking pathway does, right? And also, um, yeah, also, yeah. Hopefully that helped a little bit on, on the various fronts. Uh, just two quick ideas, essentially, on where and how to try to put these games of yours into making some money back from the, uh, from which, you know, you have spent on actually developing it. But let's talk about more about the cinematic experiences in general, now as I've gotten past the Dead Dragon Cancer and its effects. Because uh, let's plays of games happen often. They happen a whole lot of time and it is essentially harmful for all of these very cinematic games. But also because I, I ask myself very often a game when I am playing a single player game which has all these, well, which has been marketed with all these like, oh, cinematic this and that and cutscenes and all that good stuff. And I'm like, when I'm coming down to a five minute cutscene or whatever, it's, uh, it always makes me ask myself, okay, is this something I would like to be watching on my PC screen with the computer, uh, you know, keyboard and mouse and everything in front of me? Or is this something I would rather be watching on the couch out of my TV? Cutscenes to me have always been a kind of a bad way to tell a story because they have no gameplay mechanics in them, typically. They, uh, essentially, they just engage the player with, like, telling you a story which you are not interacting with. This is not essentially gameplay. This is you watching a movie. It is a cinematic thing. And I am not personally a fan of that. I much rather have an obscure story I have to figure out myself through gameplay and through differ different mechanics of the gameplay and so on than have the story shoved in my face uh, through a cutscene. I am just this kind of a person. But, 
I understand cutscenes are a big thing, many many people like them, but for me personally, uh, cinematic experience always makes me question whether I am playing a game or whether this game should have been made into a movie. Consider something like That Dragon Cancer or Dear Esther, would they have been better as movies, as you know, a, a cinematic experience itself? with no interaction whatsoever from the player. It could be a completely silent movie, where the story is told through the, well, world through other means like this. And I always ask myself, why didn't you do that? In or do that in addition to making the interactive version, if you have the budget to go through with that idea. Because that could have been much more interesting in, uh, to me. Uh, I am somebody who can relate to cancer issues. And um, having said that, that Dragon Cancer was a little bit of interest to me. But had you made that as a movie, uh, as, a, as a, you know, Cinematic thing, which you have had uploaded entirely on YouTube to try to get, you know, YouTube ad revenue out of or some such. I would have watched that right there on your official channel or whatever, wherever you would have put it. Maybe on sale on on somewhere, on some uh, downloadable storefront. Yeah, I, I, I would have paid for that. Because then I could have watched it on my couch instead of watching it happen... Uh, right next, to, right in front of me with the keyboard and mouse and not necessarily having all the gameplay uh, functions I like to have when I play a video game, as I mentioned in the beginning of this thing. From the Let's Play point of view though, Let's Play, uh, as has, well, basically all Let's Players, okay, I don't think I can go that far, but a lot of Let's Players, those who really, really make they are living out of Let's Plays, who make a lot of Let's Plays and are well received. They know that Let's Plays are a grey subject at the moment, have been for a, quite a while. Um, they uh, Let's Plays can be hurtful for game sales, but they can also be um, helpful as well for many, many games. But overall, overall, um, Let's Plays, there has been no court rulings one way or another for Let's Plays yet. So we don't know, maybe maybe in 5 years, 10 years when this stuff really starts piling up and the big, big publishers out there start hammering down on the Let's Play culture or whatnot, maybe Let's Play videos will be completely illegal eventually. 5, 10 years, who knows? Or then the fair use uh, laws have been amended to include Let's Plays, uh, we don't know what, what will happen eventually in the future. World changes rather rapidly these days, after all. You can never know exactly what kind of a world you wake up to the next morning you wake up. Uh, as has been showing with the various news articles over the last few years. Anyway, anyway. I think I'm done talking about this subject. Hopefully, hopefully this was enlightening to somebody. Hopefully this helped out. Um, hopefully, a couple of the ideas I came out here, came out and up with, uh, for you, uh, for the crea you, awesome creators of this kind of cinematic experience games, as I like to call them. Um, maybe you got a few ideas out of here. And for the for the creators of that dragon cancer specifically, uh, you. I uh, I'm not I don't know how you went about um, uh, you know trying to market your game and all of that uh, good stuff. But when you are making a making a game of this kind of difficult subject, uh, I am hope I'm at least hoping that you try to contact the various places who try to fight this subject. For example, PCF Prevent Cancer Foundation, and seeing if. Seeing if you could have come up with some kind of a deal with them to help you create this. Because that would have been, well, it would have given publicity, more publicity to them and it would probably have helped your project out. Uh, might be a little too late at this point to think about it and go back and try that. But 
if you haven't, uh, try it. Try it. Give it a try. Because, I mean, you folks do a very good job here. Uh, you make this game into what it is, and you, you went and took a um, very adult subject. Very, very, very strong uh, matter. Very, very strong, you know, subject matter. And made that into a game and I applaud you for that however it's not something I personally like to play but I am hoping that you will do well with it in the future and wherever and as usual as I said in the beginning the link to the that dragon cancer in the description below because these guys deserve it thank you very very much for watching